This question is about heat capacity and specific heat capacity. So when we approach this question, we should first look at all the keywords. For example, a 300 gram block of lead, so this one will be the mass, M, with a specific heat capacity of 130 joules per kilogram per Kelvin. So this is your C, specific heat capacity. It's heated to a temperature of 50 degrees Celsius. So we have this block of lead. Mass is 300 grams. Or we put it in terms of kg, it will be <coughs> 0.3 kg. C, specific heat capacity is 130 joules per kg Kelvin. Heated to a temperature of 50 degrees Celsius. Okay, it is then dropped into a well insulated beaker of water at 30 degrees Celsius. So we have a beaker of water is going into the beaker of water. This water is at 30 degrees Celsius and the heat capacity, not the specific heat capacity, heat capacity is 300 joules per Kelvin. So heat capacity will be 300 joules per Kelvin assuming there is no heat loss so when we assume there is no heat loss it means that the heat gain will be equal to the heat lost so determine the final temperature of the block of the lead and the water so we assume it to be theta so this is our initial um, thinking process then we start with the workings so we let the final temperature be equal to the theta degrees celsius so after this we start off with the heat gain and heat loss so heat loss will be by the lead so um, heat lost by the lead Q1 equals to mc delta theta, m is 0 0.3, c is 130, delta theta, so 50 minus theta, we get 1950 minus 39 theta joules. Okay, then heat gain will be by the water Q2 equals to mc delta theta mc is 300 delta theta will be theta minus 30 because the final temperature is theta equals to 300 theta minus 9000 joules ok so we assuming right assuming no heat loss to the surroundings Q1 is equal to Q2 so 1950 minus 39 theta will be equal to 300 theta minus 9000 so we will find out to be theta is equal to 32.3 degrees celsius to 36 feet